Alright guys, still here in San Michael, San Miguel, El Salvador, right in the center of Pulgarcito. I wasn't going to do this vlog because I usually don't do mukbangs as much. I tried to do one at Metro Centro and it didn't work out because I wasn't there at the right time at KFC. But I always tend to walk past this China Walk in my videos and I've never actually gone into it. So right now I have a hankering, I have a hunger for some Chinese food. So today I'm going to go inside and do a mukbang at this China Walk right here in the center of San Miguel, right across from the cathedral. Alright guys, so follow me while I walk myself up in there and get me some Chinese food. Alright, so I have had Chinese food before in Central America, but it was in Guatemala and it was okay. But now, I need to go get some in El Salvador. What is he yelling about back there? All right, let's go up in here. Hopefully, they'll allow me to record. I'll put this down a little bit so I'm not so like in people's face, but let me take this down, put it up, take this down so I don't get no problems. Hola. So, Ale and, so Ale is pool. Okay, bueno. All right, so security guard didn't give me no problems, but this is it. I'm over here thinking that they got a full selection. Okay, all right, so, I don't know, is this, is this todo or do you have like a menu? Tienes un menu? Solamente la cortar. So, solo eso. Oh, man. I did not think it was like this. But we're gonna make the best of it, guys. Regardless, I thought it was gonna be like a sit down thing. But I'm just gonna get what I see here and sit down and eat it in front of you and show you how it tastes. All right, so $6.99. So already I can see like the prices are very similar to malls in the U.S. prices, $6.99, $5.99. It's actually a little bit more. Um, so I'm actually a little bit disappointed with that. The prices are kind of up. This is El Salvador too, you know what I'm saying? So let's see. We got chow mein con pollo, spaghetti and rice, that's a lot of carbs. Pollo agridulce, pollo cantones. So let it keep flipping. I'm going to see what other options, even though it's all right in front of me. All right, okay, let's do Pollo Red Dragon. Pollo Red Dragon. Aqui, see. Si. So which one is Pollo Red Dragon? Esto? Okay. Un plato de Pollo de Red Dragon, por favor. Okay. All right, so we got some, some stir fried rice. Pollo Red Dragon, okay, I like that. Okay, let's see what else. And See, si. does it come with a, 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 a bebo? Si. También? Si. Ah, bueno. Okay. Alright, so with that, it doesn't have anything else. It's just those two items. Um, spring rolls. Let's see. What is this, a brownie? Comer bien. It doesn't say. It looks like a brownie. I can't see. Nah, uh, I'm okay with the sweets. Okay. Bebida, si. ¿Qué es eso? Okay. Este? Uh, it's the mismo. Oh. I want, okay, jamón. Yes. Let's get a side order of that. We got everyone looking at me out there. Hey, hola. <laughs> Sorry, I'm causing a disruption here. I'm trying to walk. <laughs> see, oh, bebo. Um, so I see you. Oh, so solamente eso. Pero más, un poquito más is for. I can get that. Cuanto más? Mas? Okay, let's do the uh, maracuya. Maracuya. I'm gonna treat myself today. I came all the way from Corinto, didn't vlog there, just dropping stuff off. From Katy, Texas to Brownsville, Texas, all the way through Mexico, then Guatemala, then getting stuck in Guatemala, to El Salvador, San Miguel, and now to Corinto. Wow. Those boxes definitely had a journey. So I'm gonna get myself some true food because I am hungry. So uh, he said just a couple cents more, I get myself some maracuya that is passion fruit. All right. All right. I get a también, a postre? Wow, okay, let's get some chocolate. I think it's a brownie, right, brownie? Yeah. Okay, let's get a brownie. See, si, see. Si. Uh, and uh, sweet. Okay, just that. Solo eso. Okay, bueno, gracias. Thank you, Darwin. 
Darwin, see. So I'm also using my Capital One Saver One card, like I always mention, because it gives me 3% off on restaurants everywhere I go in the world. This is not a promotion. I'm just letting you guys know how to be a wonderful extranjero. Viajero. Va. Okay, so $10.99. I think that's a good price for all that if I was in the US, but I'll deal with it here. Okay. Can I see a baño aquí, darling? Sí, claro. All right, so I'm going to wash my hands. I've been outside messing around. Comer bien se siente bien. That was you in the back. Hola, how you doing? Todo bien? Okay. This is on YouTube, so you're gonna see your cara. Okay. You're good? Mi canal nombre es J C Max. J C Max. Si, J C Max. Buscar. Okay, so tell us algún día, okay? Vaya, she's gonna look right now. She, I'm gonna look right now, boy. Oh yeah. What's your phone, bro? What's my phone? Yep. What phone? What's your from? Where am I from? from? Yeah. Donde eres? Yeah. Oh, Estados Unidos de America. Oh. Vaya. Gracias. Wait a minute, I have oh. changed your, your drink. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's okay. <laughs> you could have given me that for free if he's going to throw it away. I, I'll take two. So, is refill gratis or no? Refill. Uh, no, refill no trae la bebida. Pero refill is, is gratis por eso? Refill? No, teníamos refill anteriormente. Ah. So no refills. Oh, so before the pandemic, they used to give refills for free, but now no more. I don't know why. What's the difference? But either way, I always try to give as much as I can. Muchas gracias for the servilletas. That's it, guys. Thank you. All right. So I got my fork and everything. I'm weak today. So hopefully this doesn't fall while I bring it to my table. All right. So this music is gonna mess me up. So there's no spaces over there. So let's go right here. Oh no, I can go upstairs. All right, forgot about that. I used to see people look at me from upstairs at the China Walk. So now I'm gonna be up here for the first time. But if this is a choppy and screwy vlog, it's because I'm cutting it because of the music. The music is constantly blaring. So it's like chopped and screwed is what I'll do. All right. I'm just gonna take this and put this on another table because they ain't clean it, but I wanna sit here. Bah. Oh, there he goes right there, right on time. All right, so let me go find myself a restroom and something to wash my hands. So this is how it looks on the outside. Damas, hombres. I'm gonna put my foot right here. Oh, come on, man, this ain't stuck, huh? Oh my goodness. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. Thank God. God, thank you for allowing me to have enough money to be able to afford this food, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to be here in San Miguel with no problems, Lord. El Salvador is doing great. Thank you for this food. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, guys. So, I'm so happy to... They didn't give me a straw. What the heck? Alright, so I'm so happy to be here. This is my first time in China. Um, so... I don't see a straw, so I'm just gonna have to drink it like this. This is my red dragon meal right here. So you see they give me some type of, I don't know what this is, some type of like, I don't know what this is. I know it's not a tortilla, so I'll rock with that. But I've seen a lot of stuff like this at Chinese stores. It's not like truly flavorful. It's just, I guess a compliment to the meal. And they gave me like a bread, just a regular bread. And then I also ordered an extra like jamon, Shanghai rolls, just like that. So this is what the brownie looks like. All right, bon provecho. So first up, we have the rice. Looking at the rice, look at it. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. First off, the rice is really good. It's cooked well. It has a good amount of crunch from the vegetables that you see inside. It's pretty much stir-fried rice, but without any shrimp. So it's pretty good. And so as I bite into it, the only thing that I can tell that I don't like about it is the fact that it's super cold. I'm not sure how long it's been sitting underneath that heater, but it's super cold. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get some points off of that because it's not hot at all. It needs like a microwave. And looking around, 
I do not see a microwave, so that's some points off right there. But it is made well. Next up, let's see our red dragon chicken. It looks to be made well done. Let's see how it tastes when it gets into my mouth. Mmm. Wow. Woo. That's some extra spice right there. Okay, I like it. It has like some extra spice on it. It's like a kick. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's good. It's actually one of my favorite chickens that I've ever eaten before. Uh, but once again, there's a knock on it. It is super cold. Like, how long has it been sitting there? It's made well. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. But it's cold. But, I like it. I like the texture. I like you can bite right into it. It's not too chewy. Not too moist. Not too hard. One of the things I hate when you get these type of chickens at the, at a mall, because normally if it sits too long, it becomes hard. And you don't want that. So it's right where it should be. But it's just cold. Mmm. I can rock with that, though. Let's go with our rolls. And we have a little bit of a sauce. I'll use the sauce right here. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. When she said jamon, yeah, that's ham right there. Ham and like Salvadoran cheese in a roll tastes so good. It's not like a Chinese roll. This is a Salvadoran roll. I've never seen them use cheese like this in a, like a Shanghai roll. So it's really good. It's, it's kind of one of the things you would want to make as a snack to bring to school with or something like that. So if you have Salvadoran kids, make this for them. And they make all their classmates jealous that they're having such a great snack to eat. Yummy. Mmm. 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 That cheese. That bad boy kick. Salvadoran cheese is top of the line, baby. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to save this as a snack. It's good. Let's try some bread. It's just bread. Bun bread. Nothing special. But it's okay. Alright, next up. The maracu, yeah. He dumped it out and gave me a whole nother one for whatever reason. Either way, let's see how it tastes. Came from the same spot, so who knows. Alright, so this is how passion fruit looks. Mmm. A little bit too much ice. I gotta get past the ice to get to the drink. Mmm. Too much ice. It's okay. It's not the best. It almost tastes like pure granadilla, pure maracuya. It's almost like a granadilla, really. And it's like, uh, which is still a passion fruit, but it's like they picked the sour ones or something like that. It's like they picked the ones that just weren't as ripe. I don't really know how to explain that because it. I don't know if it's this bag in a box where it's like syrup and you just mix it. So maybe they didn't put enough sugar, who knows. But yeah, I can rate that right now. That maracuya drink, it's not the best. So I'm gonna have to give it... Five out of 10 on that one. Wow. All right, yeah, we're gonna rate that right there. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best. I've had better ones on the street of Honduras. Way better than that. Next up. Our posteres, our brownies. Okay, this is what it says right here. China walk, comer bien. Doesn't really tell you what it is, but they put a brownie in there. Pretty moist. It seems like a factory brownie, but it's okay. That's how it tastes. Mm, it's like, it's pretty airy. So when I say airy, it's like super factory. It's not like homemade. It doesn't give you that homemade feel. It's warm and it's moist, but very airy. You can see the air pockets inside. It's almost like I'm eating a sponge. It's like I'm eating a paste. You know what a paste is? Like a paste uh, para bañar, to say, scrub you real good. I feel like I'm eating a paste. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Super airy. And the chocolate is like imitation chocolate. It isn't like, it doesn't feel like real cocoa. Mm -mm. Tired, but it ain't the best brownie. I'm gonna rate this right now. This brownie on a scale of one to 10, we're gonna have to give this brownie a three out of 10. It's super commercialized. It's not that good. I'm real with it, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and give an overall rating on the meal. Overall on this meal, this red dragon chicken with rice out of 10, I'm gonna have to give it a six out of 10. The six out of 10 is because it's very tasty, but it being cold knocks off 
points super, super, super much. So I can't really give it high scores because of that. It's tasty, but the rice is just okay, it's normal. But the best part about it was the chicken. It was very tasty, it has a nice spicy kick. So it's real good with its spices. So I like it. Will I come back here to say, oh, I want some more Red Dragon? Probably not, but if I'm like around and I just want something to eat real quick, I would eat it again. It's not that bad, it's okay. So maybe one day I'll try something different. Maybe the spaghetti, the noodles or something, who knows. All right guys, thank you for joining me on this China Walk experience. This is my first time inside of a China Walk. The prices, like I said, $6.99 for a Salvador seems to be a little bit too much. If anything, I think it should have been around $4.99 because uh, that's more than most US mall foods. And it's pretty much almost the same thing as a mall food, but I guess the extra dollar or two is this. And then you also get a drink, so. I don't know. That's why I really don't see that many people in here. So as you can see around, you go to like Lorena and other places, it's packed. But here, this bad boy is empty. There's not that many people. And I guess it's because of price. Everyone here seems like a working person. People with uniforms on, people coming for lunch. You know, not like the normal people you see on the street selling things. You don't see them in here. Everyone here seems to have some type of job or something that allows them to afford it. So this isn't your common man's food. So if you look on Google and you type in China Walk San Miguel, you'll see two dollar signs. And that two dollar signs pretty much lets you know it's a little bit above the normal price. So if you can handle that, come here to China Walk and get yourself some of this red dragon chicken meal just like I did, all right? So hopefully this helped you guys out, you extranjeros, you foreigners, you people who actually live here. Let me know if this video gave you an understanding of what China Walk is all about and if you will come here. If you don't, I understand why. If you do, watch another video. I have many mukbangs in this El Salvador playlist that will help you see what type of foods they have and then you can come and buy it yourself if you're up to it. For more videos, that's on the JC Max channel. I have many, many more. We also have Madagascar, we have Philippines. I'm all over the world, baby. So don't be afraid, click the link right here or right there. Have a blessed day. Oh, this ice boy, ah, Haitian, baby. Haitian like your food, ha! Bye, boys.